lot of fear gas. It stepped up a notch, didn't it? And again. Oop. That's a... Still picture scene. <laughs> okay, I gotta sneak around then. Okay. Got that and crouch. Go, 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 go. Just take good. Boom. Back it, back it, back. Do it. Care of the oceans can oh uh yeah leeches I'm in a morgue why not can you hear me Bruce what's oh, going I can't on do anything. Oracle I'm okay what happened I lost contact are you sure you're all right have you found my dad I'm fine had a little run in with scarecrow slowed me down I'll get back to you in a bit so now you know you're not dead see you all right they wouldn't kill Gordon off. Great white shark. Huh. Alright, lower co <laughs> All the arrows on the ground. And there's two over there. Yeah, let's just get over with. It wasn't Gordon. Crane's gas must have affected me more than I thought. See, I was right. Are you lost, little bat? Having trouble figuring out what's real and what's just a figment of your twisted little mind? Same here. <laughs> just roll with it, bats. It gets easier once you get in. It really does. There you go. Jeez. Sorry to hear me chewing. Some awesome person gave me a bag of sour skittles today. <laughs> and I've been craving skittles! That is my biggest guilty pleasure. That and, um. Diet Coke. For some reason, that's a nice combo. The skittles in general, I don't care what kind it is. Oh, I can't wait! Skittles and Batman. What goes together better than that? Uh, Batman and Vengeance. <laughs> it <actually made> me awesome. <laughs> oh, crap. Sorry. That was a bad joke. Apparently, my body even rejected it. Anyway, where am I going? The door was locked. Oh. <clears throat> oh I 
<laughs> so bad. <sighs> okay, one. Oh, yay! Scan. I know that's Bane's there. Come on. There we go. Easy, isn't it? Well, we'll see. All right, let's. We'll see. Yeah, let's read some guys. Imprisoned from birth to serve his dead father's sentence, Bane was raised inside the horrific environs of a Santa Prisca prison. His only friend in the hellhole was a teddy bear he named Osito. Finding solace in smuggled books and meditation, he developed incredible powers of concentration. When he was subjected to military experiments using a steroid codenamed Venom, his Iron Forge will helped him survive when others as subjects had died, and he managed to escape. Determined to prove his worth, he sought out Batman and broke the Dark Knight's spine, but Batman recovered and managed to best Bane, cutting off the precious Venom supply that transforms Bane into a superhuman. Real name unknown, occupation professional criminal, Gotham City, eyes brown, went on Venom green, hair brown, 5 foot 6, went on Venom, 6 foot 8, weight 140 pounds, went on Venom, 350 pounds. First appearance, Batman, Vengeance of Bane, number 1, January 1993. Master strate strategist, intense focus, abnormally strong reaction to Venom, giving him incredibly enhanced physical abilities, determined to best Batman and all others who challenge him. Tottered and bullied as a youth, Jonathan Crane vowed to overcome his fears through the study of psychology and biochemistry. Kicked out of his university for experimenting on human subjects, Crane then adopted the identity of the Scarecrow and armed himself with a specialized fear-inducing gas that makes the person's deepest, deepest phobias become frighteningly real. His ongoing criminal reign of terror makes him one of Batman's most psychologically dangerous foes. Jonathan Crane, professional criminal, Gotham City, eyes blue, hair brown, height 6 foot, weighs 140 pounds, first appearance, World's Finest Comics number 3, fall 1941. Master of Psychology and Chemistry, creator of fear-inducing gas, motivated by an obsessive need to create fear in others. Tommy Elliot and Bruce Wayne were childhood friends and unknown to Bruce, dark reflections of each other. A childhood sociopath, Elliot tried to kill his parents so he could inherit the fortune. When his plan failed partially due to the uh, surgical skills of Thomas Wayne versus his father, Elliot blamed Bruce. An incredibly skilled surgeon as an adult, Elliot planned on an elaborate revenge scheme on the Batman. He disguised himself as the villain Hush, his face covered in bandages, but he was in the end defeated and unmasked by the Dark Knight. Hush still plots revenge against Batman, generating complicated schemes with surgical precision. Thomas Tommy Elliott, surgeon, Gotham City, eyes brown, hair reddish brown, height 6 foot 3, weighs 225 pounds, first appearance, Batman number 609, January 2003. Great physical strength, all met by a hatred of Bruce Wayne, world-class surgeon capable of extraordinary medical breakthroughs, master of disguise, determined to destroy Bruce Wayne. A crooked financier who stole millions of dollars, Warren White thought he'd scored a legal victory when his insanity plea went through. But when he got to Arkham Asylum, he realized his mistake. Driven insane by the other inmates, he was also disfigured by an encounter with Mr. Freeze that left him without hair, nose, ears, or lips. Calling himself the Great White Shark, he filed his teeth into fangs to more perfectly resemble his new namesake. Putting his financial skills to use, he has become a major player in Gotham's underground crime scene, running a number of rackets from his cell in Arkham. Warren White, professional criminal, Gotham City, eyes brown, hair none, height 5'11", weighs 180 pounds, first appearance, Arkham Asylum, living hell number 1, July 2003. Brilliant financial skills, which he uses for a variety of criminal purposes, scarred visage that makes him resemble a shark, teeth sharpened to points. A pyromaniac, Garfield Linz began as a petty criminal, but soon graduated to major crimes centering around arson, torching... Torching huge parts of Gotham in the process, but his fire soon raged out of his control, leaving him horribly scarred by one of his own blazes. His body is almost fully covered with burns, and now he wears a full-body flame-retardant suit when he's out pursuing his criminal interests between Bouts of Incarnation in Blackgate. Garfield Linz, professional criminal in Gotham City, eyes blue, hair white with black temples, 
Height 5'11", weighs 165 pounds. First appearance, Detective Comics number 184, June 1952. Thorough knowledge of flammable agents, extensive arsenal of fire-creating weapons, scarred over 90% of his body, sociopath with intense pyromania. Uh, I guess that was everybody. Okay. you think Great White Shark would have, like, a little bit of an evolution over time. But, uh... I might be surprised later on. Anyway... I guess... What is it? I don't know. Hmm. No, not anyone. On to finally rescue Gordon. Joker's not messy. He wants the old man kept safe from Batman. If anyone gets near him, it won't be me getting pain. No problem. Nothing to get from that. Batman will be a dead man, and I'll be famous. You want to make a bet on that, buddy? <laughs> 